Tesla stock is down 58% year to date, closing at $167 today. So that's a huge drop. And top of mind for many of us now is what to do with our money. Do we buy more Tesla stock or diversify? Kelvin, what's your current percentage of Tesla stock in your portfolio? So right now I have uh, like 71% of Tesla in my portfolio. Last month it was 80, uh, so it went down. Obviously I lost money, but I did achieve my goal of diversifying out of Tesla lah, because I wanted to reduce my Tesla holdings since the start of this year. Um, partly because after talking to so many other investors, not, not the uh, YouTube commenters kind of, the real <laughs> veteran investors like the work salary man, uh, what's that? The Dr. Well, all the, all the, all the popular investors <laughs> in Singapore, I've come to realize that concentrating your portfolio in just one stock is dangerous. So I've started to reduce my holdings into Tesla. And also because I can achieve this $1 million goal not by relying on my investments, but through my job. So in a way, uh, I'm trying to reduce my um, reliance on this whole Tesla thing uh, to, to get richer in a way. Yeah. It's gone from 80 plus to 71% of the portfolio. How much further would you like to see it go down to? Uh, my final goal would be like 20%. 20%? Eventual goal. Uh. So that, that would be the most prudent thing, at least for me, uh, to do. Uh, like, Obviously, I'm not a co-investor and like Warren Buffett said, right? Uh, for those who do not know what they are doing, it's best to diversify. So <laughs> I'm one of those who do not know what I'm doing. That's why, I'm, that's why I have such a high allocation in Tesla. And I also see the risk of Tesla going forward, like competition risk, political risk. And all these weren't there uh, last year. It is here in 2022 and I feel that it will only grow uh, moving forward with all this Twitter and the China thing going on. Since you started your YouTube channel, it's all been about Kelvin Learns Investing. So many people do find your sharings educational, helpful for them to ponder and reflect. And also because of your higher visibility now, you've got more than 80,000 subscribers on YouTube. Does that play a role in also ensuring that you at least try to role model safer behaviors? Uh, okay, that part, I don't really care about that part <laughs> because my channel is always about me. La. I created this channel as just a journal for myself. And that's one thing I realized with such a high following, right? You get a lot of criticism from online. So when you have so many people telling you that what you are doing is wrong, you start to question like, hey, is 80% Tesla safe? So that's the thing I've been thinking about this whole year. And at the same time, since I'm, it's my full-time job, I, like, like I said earlier, I can see that Tesla has more risk. So, so the thing that I can see right, is actually much more than what most investors can see. Like, okay, you can see that Tesla maybe, or the, the number of cars that you sold has gone up. But like, like what I said earlier, the things that I see right now is that the risks are higher for Tesla, like recession risk, uh, BYD producing more cars, and not just BYD, right? In the future, it will be even more China cars and possible political risk coming from Twitter because like government can attack Elon Musk and Tesla in some ways through whatever, la, like, like banning Tesla. So that's why I'm trying to reduce. Um, as, as for your question, I'm not, no, I'm not trying to be a role model. I'm just trying to continue on my goal uh, to reach that $1 million elusive goal. La. For me, I'll continue to steal the cost averaging to Tesla and Apple over time. My portfolio is not 100% Tesla. And to reiterate again, we don't only own stocks in our overall assets. We've got other investments as well, whether it's property or other non-stock forms of investment. Thank you, Kelvin, for sharing your view. What will you do with cash right now? What are you going to diversify into? So right now, I'm just like, okay, that's a, that's a study. Someone did a bad, bad test thing. They found that like on if you just invest in the top companies in the S&P 500, the performance would beat the S&P 500. So that's my next uh, experiment now. So just for context, I started with dividend investing. Then I felt that it was too slow. I went on to index fund or ETF investing. I felt that it was too slow, so I moved on to Tesla. 
So right now I'm in this Tesla phase and the next thing, the next phase that I'm going into is to diversify into the top holdings of S&P 500 like uh, Google, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon um, all of them have dropped, have dropped quite a bit but not as much as Tesla so that's why right now I'm just trying to diversify as much as I can uh, to bring down that Tesla 80% down to 20% so let's see what will happen next uh. Yes, we're all in a journey together Calvin has shared that he'll expand his diversification I'm continuing my current mixed allocation. Tesla is around 77% of my portfolio right now. As the stock price goes down, it'll be closer to about 70-75% of my portfolio. I'm happy with that. And we'll see how this plays out over time. The goal is to be less wrong over time. We will all make many mistakes in this journey. If you found this video useful, please click the like button. Hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on investing.